Hey guys, hello everyone. My name is Tan Singh, and I'm a second year student at IIT BHU. And welcome to the seventh episode of my podcast. So it's actually five now, and I need to upload this episode on five thirty. And actually, I didn't get time to record this episode yesterday night because I was busy enjoying my college fest, Kashi Yatra, and. uh it took up a lot of time and along with that last week i thought that i would start recording my weekday episodes called behind my tweets and give context to my tweets and that was the reason why in the last episode i gave context to all the tweets from 1st jan to 10th jan but i was not able to do this on a regular basis during the weekdays and the reason behind that was my fest was all the e summit work all the lab records and all of that so Uh, i was actually not able to gather time to come up in front of a camera and give context to my tweets so i was not able to actually start behind my tweets on a regular basis on weekdays so i decided that i'll cover all the tweets from 10 jan to 20 jan in today's episode and try to be consistent with behind my tweets in the next week and put those episodes out on weekdays so i'll cover from 10 to 20 uh, in this episode and it's 21st today so i hope i can do this on a regular basis on weekdays and get back to the regular format of our weekend episodes where i do a self talk with myself actually uh, giving back con- giving context to all my tweets is also a way of doing self talk itself but i just want to continue the old format as soon as possible and i just want to gather in time and i want to be consistent with this podcast so that's the reason why i didn't want to miss this episode even though i had a fest so let's start with today's episode with our first tweet and it was dated 12th january and it is lab record e summit work and extra classes i know proca- procrastinate kar diya but could not skip any of the above work i was talking about this right now in college there are a lot of unexpected tasks that you get with time and that leads to procrastination of the work that you wanted to do and now you cannot put in that logic that do work that has higher priority first and all of that because see there are some tasks in college which you get that have lower priority but they have to be done because if they are not done on time then there are some consequ- consequences that you might face either from your seniors your professors or either from college management as well so and uh so you cannot delay those tasks and just imagine you have a fest today and you have a task lined up will you go for the fest or do the task obviously you'll go for the fest the reason is because the fest won't come back the fest comes once in a year the task could be done later and this leads to a lot of procrastination and over here the procrastination is not because of your laziness it's just because of the circumstances so i feel this type of procrastination can be dealt with you don't need to think much about it because this is a temporary form of procrastination and yeah and the next thing was things don't happen the way you imagine them to be imagined how we would easily get registrations in our first tumble guys tournament but we just got one in about 12 hours and we have 31 hours to go for the competition so we actually conducted our first tumble guys tournament last week and we thought it would be a easy process to get registrations in a stumble guys tournament as everyone would feel nostalgic and would want to play the game at least once again but that didn't happen it didn't turn out to be that way and it was actually very tough to uh, conduct our first stumble guys tournament and along with that when i conducted this tournament i was not satisfied with the conduction of this tournament as well because uh, this was just the first time we were doing this and i felt that i didn't give my best i felt that i could have done much better and uh, i actually publicly apologized for uh, this uh, i'm like okay i didn't give my best and i could have done better i hurried up a lot i just was uh, too light with it i took it too lightly i was just hurrying up with it so i guess it was my mistake and i did put out a public apology for this and Yeah that's how I'm building Zenit I want to build it in public I want to completely be transparent while building it and if I make mistakes I want to agree on those mistakes and work upon them publicly it's okay some humiliation publicly is allowed 
if you're transparent. And I think transparency is the most important thing when you're building a startup that's in the B2C space. And let's go to the next tweet, next relevant tweet. Uh, yeah, we kind of gathered in registrations in this tournament after that. We gathered in 16 registrations, which was a good number because we were able to gather in on only one registration in 12 hours. So gathering 16 registrations in the next 12 hours was a huge achievement for us. And uh, yeah, this one. Promotion is literally the toughest thing in building a startup and many people give us give up at this point but this ain't stopping me a lot more coming in future okay yeah i was just putting out my feelings regarding promotion how difficult it is how cumbersome it is you need to do offline promotion you need to do online pro promotion you need to make reels you need to make posts and so much more it's just so pissing off and you still don't know if you'll get those returns you still can't guarantee returns after doing so much work. So yeah, it's something which is very cumbersome because see, when you're building tech, you can guarantee the return. Yeah, you're making it, it will be done. But how can you guarantee if someone, someone is going to use it or not? Even though you have made it, reach out to those people, you can't guarantee that. And it's not like that. If you make the best product, everyone will start using it. No, that's just a miracle that happens. It's just a miracle which happens once or twice. It doesn't happen always. Uh, and I guess I tweeted this sometime back itself that uh, our startup doesn't take off with, because of its product. It takes off because of its founders, because its founders shamelessly sell that product. And I feel that is a very important aspect of building things, which a lot of people forget. Everyone thinks they need to make the best product out there. Everyone is a Steve Jobs fan. Everyone wants to be Steve Jobs. But Steve Jobs happens once in a billion you can't replicate that situation it's a miracle steve jobs was a legend uh and the next one um uh, the next one next one where's the next relevant tweet uh Wait, uh, this one, this one is a good one. Waiting for the day when everyone says that you were just lucky. It, this is like the biggest achievement you can have in life. This is like my dream. Because see, just, uh, if, just imagine when you're successful, everyone will come to you and say, you are just lucky, bro. That's what you say to successful people, right? That's what you say to successful people who have done things that very less people do. That he was just so lucky, man. He was just so lucky he raised his first round. He was just so lucky that he got a breakthrough in acting. He was just so lucky that he got so many followers. He was just so lucky that he started YouTube on the right time. We always uh, give credits to luck when someone becomes successful. So actually dreaming of uh, the day when everyone says you were, you were just lucky is dreaming of your success and oh, it's probably going to be a different feeling let's see if this day becomes true at some point of my life or not let's just see that right uh and yeah we live streamed our first tournament this time we live streamed our stumble guys tournament live streaming our competition for the first time let's go yes so yeah we did that and it was a good experience i could have done much better but it's okay i'll do much better the next time i'll keep improving each and every time and yeah, this was my apology, which I put out somehow pulled it off, but I have some confessions to make. I hurried a lot with this tournament, so was not able to fix a particular format for it. And I did not get the satisfied output, took a review from everyone and will improve the next time. I feel sharing this publicly is not something uh, very common among founders, common among startups that they're sharing their uh, uh, their mistakes publicly they're confessing them publicly but i feel this is the way i want to build zenit this i just want to be 100 percent transparent whatever i'm feeling while building zenit i just want that to go out in public so uh people understand that uh it's just not my zenit is just not mine it's theirs as well it's the customers it's for you and 
you know you should and if it's for you you should know each and everything about it you should know what's going in the mind of the founders as well and i feel that's a very important aspect in building b2c companies and then first late night thought of 2024 practical thinking usually kills originality people often feel that thinking practically is the same as growing up but i don't feel the same in fact there's no correlation between these two things stop bringing in practicality everywhere i feel the most impractical thing that you can do in your life is to be practical because when you're practical you limit yourself to the thoughts of the society what is practicality practicality is simply one lie that the society accepts because see everything in this world is a lie and the lie that is accepted by society is termed practicality and the lie that isn't ac accepted by this society is actually original thinking so if you kind of uh, like put practicality over, over over original thinking over your own thoughts that means you're putting in the thoughts of the society over your own thoughts you're actually not giving justice to your own thoughts and i feel this is like cheating your cheating yourself so you shouldn't cheat yourself and this was the first late night thought of 2024 i have the series on uh, twitter called late night thoughts where i just put my thoughts where uh, put my those thoughts that come when you are going to sleep and you just get some random thoughts in your head that don't let you sleep so i just put those thoughts out on twitter and this series is called late night thoughts and the next tweet was mujhe bachpan chahiye fir se kya bekaar life hai ha ha naye saal ka motivation khatam so yeah there are some phases where you feel demotivated and you don't feel like doing anything and this was one such a period so i just put put this tweet out and after this i was motivated again because a lot of people replied that bro you're doing good you should continue that and uh, that actually pushed me to work uh, this is a benefit of building in public uh, feels good uh, and the next one so yeah we were planning our product hunt soon so i put out a tweet that Uh, i would need all of your support in the product hunt and i hope you all also support us in our product hunt it's going to be out soon most probably during e summit let's see how it turns out to be uh haven't planned much about it but we are almost ready with our product we are going to launch it soon we have also onboarded two gaming spaces already even before the pro product launch we have onboarded two of them one has already been onboarded and the other one we are in talks with it and 90% chances are that they will also get onboarded we also have a list of people who we will contact for the setting up the next gaming spaces on our platform so let's see how it turns out to be very excited to see the concept working in the to jump into the market with this with the concept of gaming spaces so what exactly gaming spaces are gaming spaces are the youtube of gaming tournaments it's simple you open our platform create a gaming space just like you can create a youtube channel and start uploading gaming tournaments on the gaming space just like you upload videos on youtube channel so it's the social media platform for gaming tournaments this is uh just our concept we want to actually test it in the market let's see how it turns out to be i'm very hopeful about it let's see and i started reading 0 to 1 and it is a addictive book honestly when i started reading the book i read three chapters consecutively it's so addictive the real life examples given in the book the illustrations given in the book each and everything is bloody addictive and man i i recommend this book to each and every one it's addictive it teaches you a lot of things and this addiction is a good addiction i believe uh just love the book and the next tweet was at this point of my life i'm super confused and i have so many questions in my mind these questions haunt me every night and are one reason behind why i am sleep deprived I just wish I could talk to my dad once because I know he would have an answer to all these questions. Honestly, uh, this is my advice to each and everyone who's listening to this podcast. If you have any confusion in your life, talk to your parents, talk to your mom, talk to your dad 
because they'll give you the best advice they'll give you the most genuine advice possible i actually crave talking to my dad i just wish that i could talk to him again at least once in my life but i know it's not possible and and this hurts me yeah this haunts me every night and uh it's like i feel alone every night when i feel alone whenever i'm confused because uh i miss his guidance i miss each and every advice he gave me and i just wish he could have given me those advices now as well because now i'm actually working on things and now i need his advice the most so respect your parents respect the advices they give and kind of value them uh, and the only way you can value them is to actually share what you're doing and ask them for their inputs that's the best way you can value them and trust me they'll give you the best inputs they'll literally give you the best inputs the next tweet was about uh, the concept of gaming spaces which i already covered so i won't read this tweet again so that you'll just get bored after hearing it again so yeah uh next what the fuck is wrong with this generation we want old money fashion but we don't talk about money boom this is the bloody reality no one wants to talk about money no one wants to talk about the ways they can make more money no one wants to take risks to make more money no one wants to talk about the risk to make money uh, to make more money no one fa- fantasizes taking risks to make more money but they want old money fashion this is just so hypocritic and ah uh, that's why i tweeted this and the next one is five levels of fashion brands in india according to me first one local second one zudio third one west side and hnm fourth one louis philip jack and jones manover uh, etc fifth one lululemon and directly from designers currently i am at third level and occasional fourth level and according to me ethnic wear brands at third level is missing at present and i feel this is a huge market gap in india so if you are someone who's interested in the fashion space i feel you should tap in into the third level with ethnic with a brand of ethnic wears and i feel that's going to blow up because third level needs ethnic wears but they don't get the eth- ethnic wears of the same quality as they wear in affordable prices and i feel this can be filled this is a missing part try to fill this one if you're interested in the fashion industry you'll make a lot of money i am not interested in the fashion industry to such a large extent that i leave everything and jump into this but if you are interested in it this could be something which you could start building and i i would be your first customer and who knows i could be your first investor as well so yeah do contact <laughs> lol do contact before starting next uh i want to connect with more and more active accounts on x or twitter which fall into at least one of these categories rr if you don't know the full form of rr uh don't check it out okay finance hashtag build in public economics and content creation see my twitter feed is completely filled with filled with 100 days of code challenges so i wanted to change i want more and more rr finance build in public economics and content creation why rr because that m- creates like a genuine ca- bond with someone a bond of friendship with someone so yeah uh, it's something that i like i like creating friends and then i end up reading the essay do things that don't scale by paul graham each and every time i feel confused about what i should do for zenity sports to work so see uh, this article by paul graham do things that don't scale is like the bible for every early stage founder it's a small article it covers 5 to 6 points and you read it every time you feel co- and whenever you're fe- confused about what you should do with your small scale startup you have just started out and you don't have clarity of what you should do next to grow it you read this article you'll get a new idea and you'll start working on it this article pushes you to do things and this article is genuinely the best thing if you're j- starting out it's like uh, you should take a print out of this article and keep it with yourself i actually do that and it helps me a lot next one was 450 subscribers on youtube will i touch 500 before this month ends the answer lies with all of you guys if you're listening to this podcast now 
and you have listened till here subscribe now and press the bell icon so i can reach this target of 500 by the end of this month and i know you guys can do it you guys have the power to do it do it now let's do it yeah and next 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 Oh, this week's episode was out on time on Sunday, but only on YouTube and not on Spotify because it is taking too much time to convert this video into audio file. Need to solve this Spotify BT soon. So I want an advice from all of you now. How do you convert a video file into audio file without using uh, a converter on the web? Because a converter on the web is actually taking a lot of time and obviously i use the college wi-fi it's not that great so give me a, a solution for this and the devices that i use are a macbook air m1 and an iphone so how do i convert a video file into audio file as soon as possible i hope i get some reply to this and if i don't i'll ask on twitter i'll probably get a reply over there Next one was अपने आप पे focus करो ये दूसरों का काम करने का कोई फायदा नहीं especially in college क्योंकि लोगों को भूलने की आदत होती है this is a reality bro this is a reality what context should I give to this uh, and I'm not interested in giving the context as well I I'm not interested in sharing the trigger moment for this tweet but let me just give you a hint in colleges you have a lot of clubs and cells and you need to do a lot of work in those clubs and cells but the person who does the maximum work in these clubs and cells with giving in all of their time, giving in everything for that club and cell, those person, people are the most forgotten people in the club and cell because no one remembers how much time they have given to the club or cell. No one remembers how much effort they have put in. What people remember is that this person was there in each and every event, each and every party. This person didn't do this. And in case, in case in a very important event, you miss that event by mistake. All the work you have done till now doesn't make sense. All of the work you, you have done till now is forgotten in just a second. And something like this happened to me. And that was the trigger moment to write this tweet. Uh, the next one was a startup doesn't take off because of the product it takes off because of the founders YC feeds this into each and every founder they back boom I was talking about this in the beginning and this tweet actually came came up nice I hate Aadhaar card picks this was the next one <laughs> I, there's no context ne needed because you all hate Aadhaar card picks and if you like your Aadhaar card pick I feel sad for you <laughs> You don't relate with most of India. The next one was Free Guy is a masterpiece. Free Guy is just such a brilliant movie. I guess I watched it too late. I just love the movie. And this movie actually made me question my own existence. And uh, uh, I felt like that I was the main character. It made me question my own existence. That uh, sometimes I feel like that I'm doing things in a particular programmed manner. Everyone is doing things in a particular particular program manner and when I shared this with one of my friends she told me that you have main character syndrome what I guess I do do I have main character syndrome uh, open to opinions if you think I have main character syndrome put that down in the comments let's see uh, but I think I do <laughs> some the next one was some seniors are just so special can't imagine college life without them there's nothing more true than this uh, seniors make your college life and if you get the best seniors you do end up having one of the best college life in fact uh, the day before my fest was actually more happening than my entire fest because I was with my seniors enjoying time and uh, that makes a lot of sense uh, seniors are amazing I love you I love you all of my seniors you are you are amazing thanks for making my college life so good thanks for making my college life special and then one side of me is satisfied and content with the present circumstances but the other side of me is hungry and wants more the conflict between these two sides is what i call life and others call this conflict hypocrisy see for me the word i am always against the word hypocrisy why because the word hypocrisy 
takes you away from the concept of life according to me life is about conflict life is about the conflict that you're having in your brain because if you don't have a conflict in your head then how are you going to find the right thoughts for yourself how are you going to going to find the right ideologies for yourself because look at history the people who were great thinkers always kind of questioned their own beliefs to come upon the right set of beliefs all great thinkers be it aristotle or be it anyone else every great thinker out there questioned themselves and if you are a person who terms everything to be hypocrisy then aristotle was the biggest hypocrite for you and that's not the truth history is not that way so it's very important to question yourself and the word hypocrisy kind of doesn't stops you to question yourself and you end up uh, living a life that's programmed from others so that's why i put out this tweet uh next one next one next one next one next one next one was i quoted the screenshot of every youtube channel that i subscribe and actually i can't take names because there are so many youtube channels that i have subscribed to literal so many i had to take seven screenshots to actually fit in all those youtube channels but i'll take a, the name of the most underrated channel that i have subscribed to which is sidhan singh so if you haven't subscribed do subscribe make it a overrated channel as soon as possible ah just joking i'll <laughs> no i'm not joking do subscribe do subscribe i'll take names of some other channels as well andrew huberman i love it iman gadzi i love it too akshar shrivastava varun maya nikhil kamath abhi and new the diary of a ceo uh, bloomberg originals tech world with nana free code camp uh, dhruv rathi dhruv rathi not for the political videos for all other videos political videos i i don't agree with dhruv rathi i don't like those videos and Varun Maya, Abhi and New, and yeah, a lot more channels like this. So, yeah, they are good channels. How do people manage to stay without a watch? I literally can't stay without my watch. This is something very personal to me. My watch is always with me. I always wear this watch because, see, without a watch, I just feel naked. My, I can't live without a watch. A watch is a necessity for me. And the next one was a picture. Ten years from now, make sure you can say that you chose your life. You didn't settle for it. This is one of the strongest motivational quotes you can ever have. And trust me, this quote hits very hard. A very good motivational quote. I love it. And then today morning I went to Varanasi Ghats and yeah, see, see the paintings, the wall paintings look so good, na? Right? right? I hope. it looks good in the camera as well i am not sure about it but okay however it was varanasi ghats are amazing and this is the best place in varanasi i am not a big fan of varanasi i don't like varanasi that much but the i am a big fan of the ghats in varanasi and i like those ghats and the last tweet for today which was which is an update of of zenit i was not able to post any updates for the past few days because there was a lot of mess to clean up basically my college fest was there uh, e summit preparations were there along with that i was tied up with some other work as well so yeah there was a lot of thing that lot of things that i had to do so was actually not able to put out updates on twitter about my startup about what's going on in my startup and at present we are just trying to onboard more and more gaming spaces before actually launching our product itself so let's see how many gaming spaces are we able to on board we have already on boarded one we'll on board more soon and that's it with for today's episode i hope you enjoyed this episode as well now i am on track i've covered all the tweets of 2024 till now and i guess i'll be able to cover tweets on a regular basis making short episodes of 10 to 15 minutes on weekdays and just putting them out during weekdays and continuing with the old format of my podcast on weekends let's see if i'm able to stay consistent with this i'm actually consistent with my podcast till now seven episodes in a row on every sunday almost at the same time it's a bit late today because uh it's supposed to come out on 5:30 but it's already 5:38 it's okay at least i am consistent 
and i hope i stay consistent for this entire year i hope you keep loving this podcast i hope you keep enjoying this podcast thank you for listening to me thank you for supporting me till now and i appreciate this support keep supporting me thank you bye meet you in the next episode enjoy your week and keep working keep hustling you're going to achieve each and every dream soon bye meet you in the next episode